Tonight I spoke with a man who says he's done the research and he's ready for that third shot. And now we're also hearing from a local health system about their opinion on the recommendation by the FDA advisory panel. Peter Olcott spends his Sunday evening outside in the old market, something he's not afraid to do, he says, because he's vaccinated. It gives me the freedom to be out here, um, which is as much freedom as, as I go for. I don't try and go inside very many places. But getting that third booster dose would give him even more confidence to be out and about. They've done this beautiful science of it, and, and uh, it looks like that the scientific studies are showing that um, uh, immunity is waning uh, for uh, especially for the most uh, older people and most vulnerable people. Olcott says he just wants to get it and soon he might be able to. The FDA advisory panel just recommended only those over 65 plus and those who are immunocompromised get the booster. Leading health expert Dr. Anthony Fauci says the no to the general public now doesn't mean a no forever. Based on that, they made a decision to do what we just said about individuals in certain categories, which is fine. But the story is not over because more and more data is coming in and will be coming in. Here locally, in a statement to KETV from Methodist Health Systems, infectious disease doctor Jessica Jones says the COVID-19 vaccine continues to serve as the strongest barrier against COVID-19. And although most people hospitalized are unvaccinated, the Delta variant has contributed to breakthrough infections, adding, quote, I'm hopeful that a booster dose would further protect the health of those who've already been vaccinated as well as those around them, but we will continue to follow the CDC and FDA guidance as it pertains to the vaccination. Dr. Fauci says when it comes to some people getting their first shot this fall, we should have enough information and data about kids and vaccinations that it should be an option. Reporting live, Abby Peterson, KETV News Watch 7.